Number 28. Explain why the symbol for the element sulfur and the formula for a molecule of sulfur differ. All right, so we just did th literally the same exact question for number 27, but instead of sulfur, they put oxygen, all right? So this is basically going to be the same thing, but just a little bit tiny, tiny different. Now this is, um, this is totally chapter one uh, review, right? They're basically talking about elemental sulfur, so an atom of sulfur versus a molecule of sulfur. So basically, do we know the difference between, what the heck? Okay, do we, do we basically know the difference between an atom and a molecule? Well, of course we do, right? So let me put it over here. So an atom of sulfur or, that is not how you spell it, S-U-L-F-U-R, but if you're from the UK, you know, shout out to all my UK students. It would be like this, right? Which I think is a, is, a, is a better way of spelling it. But anyway, so if we're talking about an atom of sulfur, which is just S on the periodic table. So if you go on your periodic table right now, it's the one that just says S. Um, it's right below oxygen. So it's in the same group. So it's right below oxygen. <clears throat> so... This one, for an atom of elemental sulfur, sulfur, it would just be just one S. That's it. It would just be one atom, right? One sulfur, that's it. So anytime that you just have a sulfur by itself, it is one single atom. And if you had two sulfurs, well then, it would be two atoms. They're not chemically attracted to each other, right? So they, they're not... They don't make a bond or anything. So they're just two individual sulfur atoms just hanging out. All right. So that's what elemental sulfur is all about. But now, what's the difference between the symbol? Because remember, they're talking about the symbol. And yes, the symbol for the atom would just be the S. That's it. For molecule of sulfur... That means that, well, what is a molecule, right? S-U-L-F-U-R. What is a molecule? Well, it's always more than one atom chemically, oops, chemically attached. So you got to have more than one atom that is chemically attached to the other ones. So for sulfur, the one that sticks out in my mind is S8. That's like the, the, the most general molecule for, for a sulfur molecule. So that means that you have eight sulfur atoms chemically bound to each other. So I guess erase the word attached here. A better word would be actually to say bound. They have to be chemically bound to each other. All right. So now how does S8 look? Well, I'll show you. There's going to be eight sulfurs that are all linked together. And you could think of it as like links on a necklace or links on a bracelet. That's how they're linked together by bonds. So if I just drew this out, we would have one, two, let's see, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are my eight sulfurs. So I'm just going to say S, 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 sulfur and sulfur, and they're all bound to each other. So they all have to have that connection. It kind of looks like a stop sign um, that like, you know, in the United States, the, the red stop sign, it's an octagon. So basically this is an octagon. So it's octagon structure and they're all chemically bound to each other. And this totally would make up S8. So you would have one molecule of S8, but inside you would have eight sulfur atoms. That's the difference. So the symbol for an atom would just be S, but the symbol for a molecule would have to be S with the number down here. Mainly speaking, S8. And just like in the other one, 
In number 27, we talked about oxygen. So a single atom of oxygen would be O, but then the molecule would be O2. You see that? And in this S8, there's eight sulfur atoms. In the O2 molecule, there were two oxygen atoms that are both chemically bound to one another. Hopefully this makes sense. Let me know in the comments if it did. I love hearing from you guys. If you want to know when we drop our next batch of questions, click that subscribe button. And it also helps other people know about us so that, you know, they can get the benefit of getting all the answers as well. Thank you so much for tuning in. Tell your classmates about us, right? That would help. Tell your friends, tell whoever. Thank you for that. <laughs> I'll see you guys all in the next question. Have an awesome day. See you later.